Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to shorten a tub spout so that it fits right close up against the wall in your shower. So you can see here in this picture, the tub sits, the spout sits about an inch and an eighth out. So I'm going to go ahead, and this one just screws off. Some of them unscrew from the bottom, but this one just unscrews, and you can see here, I'm going to put a wet rag around the pipe here just to control the heat so the heat doesn't go back into the faucet and loosen up other fittings. Next I'm going to remove the Teflon tape because I'm going to be heating up this end piece so I don't want to burn up the Teflon tape. Then I'm going to use map gas and heat up the tip right here. Once that gets hot enough I'm going to use my channel locks to pull that off so I'm going to apply the heat for a little bit and I apply it from the underside because heat rises and it'll just evenly distribute the heat throughout my piece. Once it gets hot enough I can slowly work it off and it looks like it comes right off. Once I get that off now I'm going to go ahead and reuse this piece so I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to take my cleaning brush here and clean out the inside of this fitting so that I can get it ready to put back on once I get my pipe cut to the right size and I want to do this while it's hot so that the solder will come out nice and smooth. So I want to take off about an inch and an eighth. So I'm going to go ahead and mark where that would be. Then I'm going to take my tubing cutter and work it around on the mark here, cutting it an inch and an eighth, just working it around until it actually cuts through the pipe. Tighten up a little bit on each turn and working it around until my inch and an eighth piece comes right off. So now I need to clean off the edge of the pipe and I'm going to use my tubing cleaner here and just work that back and forth until I get a nice clean surface. That's very important when you're soldering uh, your copper back together. I'm going to put my wet rag back in so that none of the heat loosens up any of the other fittings. It doesn't hurt the faucet. It kind of controls the heat. Next thing I'll do is put my flux on and I'm going to put that all the way around the pipe coming out of the wall and I'll work it around all the way around very important that you use flux. Helps the solder draw into your fitting when you're sweating pipes here. And then I'm going to add some flux to the inside of my fitting that I'm going to reuse. Now once I get the flux worked on the inside of this fitting, I can go ahead and put it back on the pipe here. And I want to make sure I push it in all the way. Work it back and forth until I get it in all the way. Push it in all the way and we're tight. Now I'm going to apply the heat, and again, I'm going to go from the underside, just because heat rises, it makes it a little easier to control the heat. And I have my solder here, roll out a little bit of solder, and once it gets hot enough, I should be able to put my solder right on the fitting, and with putting the heat on the fitting side, it draws the solder back into the joint, and then I can work it around. Once I get it hot enough, I can do it without the flame. I want to make sure I got a nice bead run all the way around there. Then I'm going to wipe it off with my rag, get a nice clean looking joint. And then I'm going to use some Teflon paste instead of the Teflon tape. And I just work that around the threads here, all the way around. And that should take care of it there. No more leaks. And then all that's left is to screw my spout back on. And once I get that screwed back on, it should be tied up against the wall. And I want to make sure it's nice and straight. And that's how you shorten up a tub spout. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.